cute stuff hey okay so we are here for another collective message with me the divination duchess so let's go ahead and take what resonates right and what doesn't leave it behind for whoever the hell is for because that means it's just not for you boo this is not a personal reading honey okay this is a general collective read it now let's go ahead and see what the message is today from spirit got a couple of decks here spirit give us insight what's going on for the collective what do they need to know here today we got a queen of cups okay we got a king of swords a two of swords a nine of swords okay something is going on here an ace of cups so i can tell you right now this is definitely talking about someone in your life who's now thinking about re-entering your life this is somebody that you've had a stuck connection with okay this could be someone romantic or platonic right i always say that but we're seeing here this energy as you really I feel like you were really open hearted with this person or you really expressed yourself, opened yourself. I feel like you were very giving and loving in the connection with this person. OK, and this person with this King of Swords energy was more in very controlled, logical energy. It's like you were really heartfelt and open from an emotional space and this person wasn't. And because of that here, there's this stuck energy that's been happening between you guys. And they're saying here that this person is actually stressing a lot about this energy. Okay. They're stressing about how things are stuck. And so they're wanting an ace of cups. They want a new start. Mm. Ooh, oh, this wants to fly over. Look at this. Okay. Look at this. A knight of cups. They want to come in with some sort of offering here towards you because things have been stuck. And this person is seeming like, I guess they feel like being hard or, or not being in their emotional space has not really been t uh, paying off. Yes, yeah, a five of wands. Okay. This person is feeling like here that they're trying to overcome whatever conflict you guys have had or whatever has been keeping things stuck. But it looks like what's been keeping things stuck here is this five of wands energy. Okay. It's like, hmm. I need to overcome my internal frictions, my internal problems. I need to overcome any issues I have here with, you know, this person. Yeah, seven of wands. I feel like this person has been very defensive in the past, but now they're, they're trying to transmute that energy into them actually defending this connection or fighting for this connection or, or opening up here. What's going on with this person? What is this person going to be offering? Because we know we got this Knight of Cups and this Ace of Cups. What are they offering here? What is this person offering? We got a Two of Wands. So this person wants to talk about some sort of future or look at where you guys can go from here in this connection. They want to overcome the stuck energy for sure. OK, they don't want to be stuck. They want to overcome that and figure out a way to move forward here. They're looking towards the future. Knight of Swords. I feel like this is someone that's going to be moving very fast now. This person's got a lot of swords energy. They could possibly be an air sign or have air signs in their chart. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. OK, they could just be a chronic hard ass because this comes out a lot whenever I date people and they just insist on being a hard ass. It's always a king of swords that I'm like, <laughs> see where that really gets you at the end of the day. So here there's this energy here where. This person is feeling like they want to swiftly move towards you with this. Why they feel like they got to move so fast? Why? Nine of Pentacles. Mm. Two of Cups. I feel like this person feels like in your independence, you might find a better option or you might move on to something better with this Two of Cups and this Nine of Pentacles because Nine of Pentacles is all about your independence, your self-worth and self-love, okay? This is about you being on top of your game, being on your A-game. So if this person is feeling like they need to rush because they see you on your A-game, see you doing good, see you happy, see you might already have new connection, right? Whether this be love or friendship or whatever relationship, they see you got new connection or they see your potential for new connection. And I feel like this is kind of scaring this person. They like, wait a minute, things are stuck with me, but now they moving forward here with someone else, okay? Or the possibility of this. Let's go ahead and see. This could even be, you know, a friend for some people as well. Say you blowing them off and they see you got a new friend or new bestie like they not playing this okay tell us more about this person that's coming in here four pentacles this person's holding on really really tight 
Three of Cups, okay? They're holding on really, really tight. And we got the Knight of Wands here. This person has a lot of desire to move things forward. Okay, Spirit, tell us here what kind of energy this person is coming with because we know that you letting us know they're trying to come in, but are they actually coming in with something positive or are they just coming in trying to wreak havoc and stop the collective from doing their best life, living their best life, doing their damn thing? What's going on with this person? Is this person coming with good intentions? Ace of Cups, okay? Again, Ace of Cups twice. This person's definitely wanting this new emotional experience. Okay, but what is coming with this? Are they bringing anything solid, any type of value to the collective? Because we want value. We don't just want no Ace of Cups now. Knight of Wands again. So this person's feeling a lot of passion and desire. I feel like they're rushing again with this Knight of Wands. Tell us more. Yeah, they're trying to gather their strength. Hmm. If they got to try to gather their strength, does this mean that the collector should be weary? Should they be in open arms? Like, how is this person going to come? Are they coming correct? Five of Cups. Hmm. They're saying this person is really coming towards you from a place of loss, a place of missing you, a place of feeling like they lost everything. Okay. Yeah, they stress. They anxious. They worried. This person is extremely stressed extremely anxious here about this like i feel like this person is really thinking they might lose you is where i'm getting and this is what i'm getting here they worried you independent they worry you got other options you know they feel like they need to gather their strength because they just sick and, and sad without you it seems like they worried you got other options okay mm -hmm. yep hermit it's been too quiet you ain't really been worried about them or focused on them you've been withdrawn Yes, you've been on your own path with the Six of Swords. You ain't been worried about them. And so now this person is sitting about thinking about how to cook something up. They're like, wait a minute. <laughs> how dare they not be worried about me or thinking about me? Okay, we know that they upset that, you know, the collector's not worried about them. But let's let's find out this here. Let's find out this here. What do they plan to bring to the table? What are they planning on offering? How do they plan on being a value here? Let us know that because that's what we want to know. The fool. Hmm. This person is trying to come with a new thought process. They're trying to be open. Okay. We need more than that. Page of Swords. They don't want to talk about some things, but Page of Swords worries me a little bit because, uh, it's like Page of Swords kind of is not really giving you everything you want. Okay. Page of Swords is kind of like trying to run game is what I would call it. Trying to kind of maneuver the situation in their favor a little bit here. Yeah, but this person is desiring you too much. King of Wands energy, okay? They're desiring you so much, but at the same time, I feel like this person still has some holdbacks, and it's like they, they desire and they stress and they strife is urging them to come towards you, but I don't know if they're going to be able to bring enough to the table. Are they bringing enough? Are, uh, let's, let's ask this. Will they be satisfied with this offering? Is this a satisfying offer that they bring in? Mm-hmm. Eight of Swords, I don't know. It looks like this person may be holding back because Eight of Swords is that stuck energy. You see, feeling a little trapped. I feel like it, this person may be holding back a little bit. So it's like they're coming with something, but they ain't coming 100 with it. This person sees you as this happy ending, but they're also afraid of happy endings for whatever reason. But now they're afraid of you having a happy ending as well. That's why we got this five of wands. See, I don't know. This person might be a little bit greedy with they in, with, with your energy here. Because now that they feel it's a little competition, okay? Now that they feel like you might have options. Now that they feel like you're not worried about them. Now, all of a sudden, they want to think about how you represent all this happiness and family. But then they still have a lot of fears driving them. So, this fear can become a problem. This creates... Uh, like that static, I'm seeing static -y TV, okay, cloudiness, like it's not clear here with this person. Is this person going to try to step up for this Ten of Cups or what? They are, okay, they are. Spirit, do you feel like this person is going to be successful at stepping up? Two of Coins is requiring balance, but I also feel like Spirit is saying for 50% of y'all, yes, for the 50%. <laughs> this person might not be able to follow all the way through, so you need to be using your discernment and your... um. You need to be using your common sense here. 
It's not just all daydreamy and, and roses and flowers. We need to use common sense with this person. Yes, they're coming back. Yes, they're coming with an offering. But they're not really coming fully with it. But they want to hurry up and stop you from moving on to something better. So that's why you need to be careful because this person is really thinking about themselves and how they really want you. And they focused on this, honey. You can see how focused she is? Like, I'm about to get my prize. Like, they're like, I'm about to get you. I'm about <laughs> to reel you in. Mm-mm. Yeah, things have been halted too long. Things have definitely been halted way too long with this person. But you can see all this energy here now, like this page of wands. Like, this person's coming with the communication for sure. Their intuition is leading them towards you for sure. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. But again, this person's still very confused. Like I said, there's a lot of confusion in here. This, this ending has made them feel a lot of pain and heartbreak that they can't stand. And so that's going to make them come towards you to bridge this gap. But I feel like with this person, honestly, the way I'm reading the energy and we're going to ask spirit for some advice. But the way I feel is like this is somebody where you can maybe figure and see what they're talking about, but don't be all in with it. OK, like give a little inch and like see what they're talking about and then decide if it's really adding up to what you want, but not just being all in just because they came in with the offering. Because this person would use that to really stay in control and stay in power here and, and keep you from the blessings you want, right? So say you've been asking someone to for dating, for instance, right? And they don't really want to do that. They just want to, you know, hang out here and there. And they're going to come back because they want you in their lives. But at the same time, they still don't plan on following through with the dating thing. So you need to be careful. It's like an example like that. So you just need to watch what is this person doing? What is going on? here what's the advice five of cups see look i love this five of cups because i feel like the advice here you see what she doing she taking care of herself she put on her makeup she loving her i feel like the advice is to really focus on you so you don't get heartbroken. because five of cups <laughs> is heartbreak and pain okay so i feel like spirit is saying that you gotta keep focusing on you give us more advice what's going on here yeah, it's the Seven of Swords, baby. Look at this. Look at this. And I always look at this Seven of Swords in a certain way. Like, it's like she's really trying to fix this rope here, but you can't fix it from that bottom up. And she's just holding on to the rope. So it's like this person may appear like they're trying to fix, but at the end of the day, the method they use is not really going to fix what needs to be fixed for a lot of them. So you just need to be careful and really assess here exactly you don't want to end up feeling like you have to fight this person off because they're not bringing what you actually want so spirit is saying that this is an opportunity to assess follow your intuition is this what i really want or am i just allowing this person to kind of bum rush me and push themselves into my life because they're sad and missing me and they hurt yeah this person is feeling real naked vulnerable alone and so they're going to be trying to really come towards you to bridge that gap. But they still have a lot of control issues in them that make them maybe play some games here. But they want to overcome the obstacles. So it's really up to you, boo. Everything's about free will and it's your life, baby. So do your thing, okay? Like, share, comment, subscribe, follow. If you want to read in for $1.99, you can catch the link for that below. Check out my website and all the other goodies. I'll be talking to you later, boo. Bye.